Alright, so after doing all this excessive side content, I think it's finally time to just focus on the story. So let's head right towards the story where we're supposed to be going, and uh, see what we can do here. Let's see if it gets any good. Go, go, go. Alright, it's right over here, supposedly. Leaving the safe zone. It's this building? This building right next to me. How do I get that high up? From right here, I think. No. Aha, yes. There we go. Crane here. Report. Tower boss is named Brecken, and he's definitely not your man. The other likely suspect is this warlord, basically. Local guy. Calls himself Rise. He's hoarding Antizen and then gouging the hell out of anybody who wants to buy some. I'm on a mission to get Antizen from the airdrop. If I don't succeed, they'll have to come up with something else. Acknowledged. Good job, Crane. You're doing well. Stay on task, and we'll be in touch. Be sure to call us immediately if and when you get that Antizen. Okay. Look for the airdrop in the cauldron area. The cauldron area. How do I get over there safely? I climb this wall, maybe? Oh, damage, that's nice. Run along the walls. Oh, I guess I could run on the pipeline here. Oh fuck, I didn't mean to fall. So apparently everyone in this game is some amazing athlete, like crazy stamina. They can all run like superhuman distances and jump like four, six, seven vertical feet. They're basically all the equivalent of like Olympic athletes. going on here? <laughs> Who's this guy? Hey, what are you looking for? Something I can use for a tourniquet. Once Rice takes over this place, we're going to need plenty of them. Rice. That's something they do, see? Amputations. Rice gets a kick out of it. Wondering how I know? That motherfucker kept me locked in a cage for three weeks. Damn. I saw plenty. Sometimes it was like he was experimenting. See what would do the job best, you know? Machete, axe, shotgun. Hell, he took this one guy's leg off at the knee and had to hear time how long it took the poor bastard to bleed out. Sounds like a great guy. It's a valid strategy. You kill an enemy? Well, that is one down. But you hurt an enemy. Then you've got the wounded guy out of the fight. Plus, it'll take at least two more people to take care of him. Three. For the price of one. Is there a point to this story? Sadism, I guess. Given the right circumstances. Wow. Bet you're a lot of fun at parties. Wow, this guy literally told like a heartfelt story. About how horrible this guy rises, and then you make fun of him. Oh, you're fun at parties, huh? <laughs> I just came here to find out about if you had a, a light. You know, or maybe some bows, because that's all I'm about. Oh, hello. <laughs> you bitch. How do I get across the street? There's like no safe way to cross the street here. I got a saw blade. Here we go. No, Tavinya. Fall in the cauldron, so 
So if you start from there, you'll have the best chance of getting to that drop before Rice's men do. On my way. The cauldron, huh? Jade, I'm getting close to the drop zone. Good. Find some shelter and wait. Most of the drops seem to fall exactly in that area. <laughs> Fuck out of here. And there's a crate. It looks intact. I'll check out what's inside. This way. Top of this building, apparently. How do I get up that high? I gotta do it from over there, but there's zombies. Here we go. No. Son of a bitch. Let me guess, they're all below me now. Definitely what I wanted. <laughs> Grab it, you fucker. How the fuck do I get up there? No. Nope. <laughs> Maybe if I run and jump from here. Or, hold on. Right? Can I shimmy this way? Nope. I'm trying to make a running jump from here. I made it. Whew. Well, that was tough. Okay, what do we got? More coffee in this weird wrench. This wrench, they won't even let me pick up. Look, I can't pick it up for some reason. Uh, wait, what? The French wrench. Oh, a whole lockpick. That's good. Got a battle journal. Fucking hell. Hope I don't end up like this poor bastard. No more items in here? Nah, they're all lower. Okay. Here we go. Oh, oh what a cock tease. Oh shit, here comes another one. Did you see that? Yeah, a couple. Two drops. They landed elsewhere, unfortunately. 
but you're not that far away. Get to those crates before anyone else does. It looks like they went to the highway. Alright, you get onto the highway from over there. I was up there before, I'm trying to remember how I got up there last time I was on the highway. Oh good! Hundred meters. Where the fuck did it go? Shit, too late. Jade Rice's men got here first. Fuck. Okay. Don't try to fight them. Just find the second one. Look for the smoke from the flare. The crate should be close by. This way, huh? Oh, fuck you. You probably could fight them if you wanted to, but you'd probably be a, a suicide mission against them. Too many. Okay. Holy shit, we got multiple boss level zombies. The fuck was up with that? Too close to sunset. You need to turn back now. Dude, I'm almost there. I can do this. Almost got it. Did it. Aha. to recover an antizen drop. Good, Crane. This offers us a new strategy. Time to turn your attention to Rise. Listen closely. It's very possible that Rise is our man. So if you find an airdrop containing antizen, destroy it. What? 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 Why? It will force interaction with Rise. You can go under Brecken's auspices as an ambassador, if you will. But, but there are civilians depending on this stuff. Our plan is focused on the greater good. Remember that. Oh yeah, okay. So of course the person you're working for is the villain, probably. <laughs> Typical twist. Damn, you had to burn it all. That's fucked up.
Jade, I'm at the airdrop. There's no answers in here. Son? Fuck. That's Fuck. terrible, man. They must have heard me. The uh, uh oh. Here they come. Oh boy. 